In this video, we're taking a deep dive into an old drag racing photo album that's been stashed away for over 50 years. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I grew up around hot rods and drag cars, and I quickly gained a love for old school drag racing and old school hot rods. And part of that is because I was flipping through photo albums when I was a kid, and a lot of what I was seeing was from the 1970s and 1980s. So this love for old school drag cars has only gotten more intense through the years. And, you know, it's sparked a lot of conversations between my dad and his friends and, you know, people that were around back in the 60s and 70s to see this firsthand. You know, I wasn't fortunate enough to be old enough to see this stuff while it was going on, so I kind of have to live through their stories and live through their pictures. And so for the last 10 or 15 years, I've been looking for old pictures from Harriman Drag Strip. And I knew for sure that Terry and Tommy Dillard had raced there back in the day. And I asked them a few times if they had any pictures and they never could really come up with anything. Well, several years passed and my next door neighbor who happens to be Terry Dillard, um, he said that he found this old photo album and uh, wanted to share it with me. And it was just wonderful, a wonderful collection of pictures. Uh, he had pictures from Bristol and from uh, local cars and things like that, but the thing that really got my attention were these pictures from Harriman Drag Strip. So I wanted to share them here with you. Uh, these things have been stashed away in an album for decades, probably 50 years now. As you'll see, a lot of them are from 1969 and 1970. Uh, that was kind of the heyday for Harriman Drag Strip, and it was certainly the heyday uh, for a lot of super stock racing, gassers, modified production, as you'll see as we go through these pictures. So um, just really thankful that guys like Terry and Tommy have held on to these pictures, these memories, and these stories, because honestly, these pictures don't mean a whole lot if they don't have a story to go along with them. So I'm gonna do my best to tell you the story that goes along with these pictures. This collection of pictures starts in December of 1968, and it starts on a personal note for Tommy and Terry Dillard, because this is Tommy Dillard and his 57 Chevrolet station wagon. And you can see here, this is his very first trophy that he won with it late in the season at Harriman Drag Strip. And you can see it pretty much looks like a stock street car. It did change a little bit through the years. They got a little bit more serious with it. They lettered on the side of it, Excedrin Headache number 283, and added some other lettering on the back of it as well. The next picture comes from early in the 1969 season, and it's from the pits at Harriman Drag Strip, and you can see they've written on the picture, the hometown boys. Another one from March of 69 is this real plain looking 57 Chevrolet Gasser. Now this is a degas car, and it says right there on the picture that they were from Nashville. And one of the cool things to me is all the stuff in the background. You can see a 57 Ford, and you can see just bits and pieces of other cars back there in the pits. Just a really cool shot here. Now there's two pictures of this car. It's a 39 Chevrolet Coupe, and it's running in the E-Gas category. And you can see it's got lettered on the front here, 301 cubic inches. And otherwise, this looks like a pretty stock car. It's still got bumpers on it. It looks like it's all steel. Uh, but you can see in this second picture that it's lined up against the 55 Chevrolet, and this gives you kind of a good glimpse of the starting line at Harriman Drag Strip. There's no guardrails. There's not a whole lot of width on the track itself. I mean, not a lot of room for error. Um, and then you can see the traffic light hanging up above. That acted as a Christmas tree for lots of years. Here's another one from March of 69. This time it's Ronnie Caldwell and his 57 Chevrolet named the Silver Stalker. Moving on to August of 1969, these pictures are obviously from a bigger meet at Harriman Drag Strip, more than likely a big super stock meet based on the types of cars that are in these pictures. Now this is a pretty high dollar operation right here. You've got a ramp truck with a 68 Hemi Dart on the back of it, pulling a trailer with a Hemi powered Plymouth back there. Both of these cars set up for super stock, and they came all the way from Silva, North Carolina to take all the local boys' money in this big super stock race. One of the local favorites in super stock was Robert Nance. He was known for these Mr. Plymouth cars. He had a whole bunch of them through the years. In super stock, he raced in AFX, he raced gassers, 
He raced anything and everything as long as it was Mopar powered. Here's another Hemi powered Super Stalker, this time a Dodge Coronet that went by the name Family Affair. Out of all the cars at this big Super Stock meet, the one that left the most lasting impression was Fred Tibbetts 427 powered Ford Fairlane. Now this car looked like a pretty plain Jane street car, aside from the magnesium wheels and the slicks, but it was one of the baddest cars there. Fred Tibbetts came all the way up from the Atlanta, Georgia area, and it's likely that he took home some money from the local boys. I don't have a whole lot of information on this 65 Chevelle, but you can see on the back of it here, it says the Avenger. And according to their note written below the picture, it's got a 427 big block in it. Another big block car sitting in the pits at Harriman Drag Strip is the Show Off, a 1966 Chevelle that raced in B stock. Now this car is really cool. I love the looks of it, but what is even cooler is all the stuff that's in the background. You can see the crowd back there. You can see some of the cars in the pits. Lots of cool stuff to look at in this picture if you just keep zooming in and looking around. Now this has to be my favorite car that ever ran a Harriman Drag Strip. This is called Vibration, and it was a Henry J built sort of like a funny car, and it was owned by a guy named Ab Arnold. And you can see in these pictures it's just a shell of a body, just a steel body with a, some sort of custom frame. You can see lettering on the side says, chassis by BK Hunter. And you can also see that it had a supercharged 327 Chevrolet engine. And that put him in the double C altered class. And I'm assuming this thing was pretty wild as far as trying to get it down the track with a supercharged small block Chevy and hardly any weight to hold it down. Here's another Tri-5 Chevy, this time a 55 Chevy named the Blue Goose. And this car ran in the D modified production class. And you can see on the door that it was sponsored by Elm Hill Meats and Wampler Sausage out of Lenore City, Tennessee. The last picture in this group from August of 69 is a local car. This is Tommy Clayton's 55 Chevrolet named the Phantom. Now this car ran in D gas and if you haven't seen the video, I did a video kind of documenting the history of this car and showing you that this car still exists. It's in a warehouse down in Chattanooga, Tennessee. If you haven't seen it, click up here or click down in the description. I'll put a link to where you can watch that video later. All right, we're moving into 1970. And in this group of pictures, we're gonna see a lot of Tri-5 Chevys. We're gonna start it off with a 56 Chevy 150. This car ran in D-Gas and you can see on the back of it, its name was Half Fast. If you say that fast enough, it sounds a little funny. And you can also see in this picture some other cars in the background. You can see the Coker Brothers 57 Chevrolet and several other Tri-5 Chevys back in the background there in the pits. Now here's a serious race car from this 1970 collection. This is Dennis Hefner's 55 Chevrolet named Satisfaction. This car ran in B gas with a Hilburn injected 427 this car was very well known, and this car was resurrected by Tom and Scott Abbott. They found this car in a field in Rogersville, Tennessee. They pulled it out. They brought it back out for people to see, and I'm going to put together a video on the history of this car and give you an idea of what they did with it when they resurrected it. Next is the Kingston Shaker, another 55 Chevrolet set up for B-Gas. And you'll notice this car sits pretty low. It's got cut out fender wells in the back, but the tires aren't sticking out like crazy. There's no straight axle. This car is really hunkered down pretty low. Now this is a pretty wild one. This appears to be an Austin Healey, and it's set up for a C gas. And you can see that this is not exactly a high dollar build. It's got steel wheels on it. The slicks stick way out. The, the roll bar doesn't really look like it belongs there. There's no windshield. This is just kind of a wild piece together car that ran at this little outlaw track. Once again, an amazing background. There's tons of cars scattered all around, including the Rojo Camaro, which we'll get to in a minute. Next in the album is an Anglia that ran in the D altered class. Now, a lot of people would consider this a gasser, but in this particular setup, it was actually running in the altered class. This car was campaigned by John Cobb, of Loudon Automotive, and it was a race winning combination. It had a Hilburn injected small block Chevrolet in it, and this car did run in the gas classes previously, but in this 1970 configuration was running in D altered. 
surprisingly, this car still exists and it's actually a street rod now. And I get to see it every year at the Street Rod National South in Knoxville, Tennessee. Here's another local legend and another car from the Loudoun Automotive Camp. This was the Gray Ghost, a 55 Chevrolet 150, and this car ran in the modified production class. I saved one of my favorite cars for last. This is a car that everybody knew as Rojo. Even though on the side of it it says the Super Hugger, everybody knew this car as the Rojo. And it was John Housley and Jimmy Lee. It was kind of a group effort with this car. A modified production, big block, tunnel ram. It had all the elements of a late 60s and early 70s drag car. Krager SS wheels, big slicks on the back, traction bars. This thing is just too cool. And luckily they took several pictures of it at Harriman Drag Strip. You can see it here in the pits. This is just one of the coolest Camaro drag cars out there. That pretty much does it for this collection of drag racing pictures from my next door neighbor, Terry Dillard, and his brother, Tommy Dillard. And these are some iconic pictures from Harriman Drag Strip from 1969 and 1970. So many great cars, gassers, super stockers, modified production, street cars, a little bit of everything. And I just wanted to be able to share this stuff with you. These awesome pictures and awesome stories that go along with them have been stashed away for lots and lots of years and I'm glad to be able to bring them here to you. Continue supporting the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll see you next week.